Hello, welcome to Spurverts. I'm here with Craig Mitch. Oh yeah. And we have a new Spurverts guest this time. As you can see, the setup is slightly different. We have got Emma Story. She's a freelance journalist, done loads of stuff. Fox, Sky Sports, Sky, all that sort of stuff. If you haven't seen her before, <laughs> she already did a discussion with us. Check out that video about the season so far. She is back by popular demand. Yeah. Welcome to Spurverts, Emma. Thank you, I'm Woo. very excited to be Spurverts. Good. Very excited. Well, let's hope it's you be a good one. get a goal on your debut. Hey. Not sure that analogy works particularly <laughs> well. Anyway, what we're excited about this week is, first of all, the Villa performance. How do we feel about that, Emma, first? Happy, happy, happy. Mm. Although, happy, 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 mainly because we got that final goal to make it 3-1. I was not mm. happy when uh, we conceded to be 2-1 and it all got very nervy and a bit scary and I kept thinking, oh my God, we're so going to throw this away and it's going to be 2-2. Two -two. The old Spurs. Yeah. Would have done that. I agree. Would yeah. have thrown it away. The new Spurs just went, nah, it's fine. We got this. Let's just do a little sexy Barcelona team football esque goal. Finished off with an amazing finish from our man Harry Kane. And it was an amazing didn't. finish. Um, <laughs> the goal was a good goal. I'm not sure they were feeling like, nah, we got this. They certainly didn't look like it. But they looked <laughs> nah. a bit panicked. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> times. jittery. But they sort of looked like that throughout the whole game, don't you think? They, they were did. a little yeah. bit dodgy. Larissa's passing out seemed a bit. Rocky, yeah. Larice, get us in trouble. Oh God, I, I feel like I moan about this a lot, but I love Larice. Everyone loves Larice, of course. As a shot stopper and everything, he is brilliant. The one part of his game that for some reason just doesn't really work is his distribution from kicking. Mm. Every time that man kicks the ball, it goes to the opposition. Or it goes out of play, or it goes straight back to the other goalie. It's the cigarettes. <laughs> I've got sources, it's the cigarettes. <laughs> it's a conspiracy no theory. Hashtag do your research. <laughs> hey, I'm not the guy from conspiracy theory. I know, I know. But I'm just saying it, do your research. That's yeah. all I'm going to say on that. No, but honestly, the performance was amazing. Um, amazing? Would you go amazing? Yeah, I, well, I mean, like, like you said, Classic the fact that... Classic Mitch hyperbole. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> The fact that we didn't concede and it didn't end up a draw to me is amazing. Like you said, last season we probably would have did that. We probably would have caved under the pressure. There yeah. were frustrating points in the game. Like I felt like they were sitting back a lot Aston Villa. We were struggling to kind of break them down at times. The ball was just being passed between Vertonghen and Alderweireld in the back four. I got frustrated in the first half. I was a bit Very. kind of like, we should have scored, you know, should have been 3-4-0 at that point at half yeah. time. And I was just like, oh, this To is be really fair, worthy. I mean, their goal was pretty lucky and they didn't really threaten properly. No, apart from, like, his dead had a header that he probably should have scored quite late on. There is a but reason they're bottom of the table. I just think, yeah, they look like a championship side. They didn't really have much to offer at all. We didn't look that worried. We were making it difficult for ourselves, really. Uh, well, I think that's what I found frustrating because I was kind of like, you know, in contrast to when we played Bournemouth, Bournemouth didn't, you know, weren't playing very well and we came out and completely smashed it. Against Villa, I felt like, we, yeah, we were making it hard for ourselves, which is not what yeah. you want to see against the weaker of the three teams that we're playing this week. Mm. Exactly, yeah. But there were some good individual performances in there. Oh, yeah. Dembele was class again. <laughs> yes. It's the reawakening of Moussa Dembele, it's I think. It's brilliant. It's so good to watch. Like, I'm so pleased. It's like the play that we originally bought. Yeah. Can I just say, I've been saying for the past two, three seasons that he's been at Spurs, that he needs to play in that advanced attacking position. Yeah. Because he was a striker in Belgium, he came to Fulham, he was an attacking midfielder, and now we are finally playing him in the hole. He's never been good defensively. All right, he had that one good performance against Liverpool, was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Defensive midfielder, he made yeah, a great match, couple. But... Yeah, just <coughs> but, never, never been but good in that position. He, if you ask him, he will tell you that he thrives <laughs> in that attacking role. Oh no, yeah, he's a he's a versatile player. So Boom. are you trying to take the credit? Hey, I'm just, just putting it out there. No, no, I'm, just, you know I'm just saying he should have been played there from if a you while ask, ago. If you ask Deli Ali, he'll tell you that he thrives further forward and he got man of the match last night. Ooh, it's true, it's true. defensive oh. mid. So, I mean, it's another individual who can play all over the place. Yeah. That's versatile centre mids, basically. That's, that's what, what we have. Want, Eric Dyer, another one. Eric Dyer. Oh, yeah. Love can him. play right back, and play centre back, and play centre mid. We just scream versatility, what can we say? Josh and Omer, thoughts? I was impressed, came on for about five minutes, didn't he? Came on for five minutes. Um, Townsend wasn't happy about that, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> that's a whole nother say that's part two. Um, yeah, Josh and Omer looked really good. He looked very composed. Uh, I think he was dribbling with the ball. It opened up for him. He took a shot. It wasn't the strongest shot in the world, but he had the confidence to take the shot, which was good. He and he was involved in the goal as well. He looked fearless, didn't he? Coming yeah, on. yeah. Spe speaking of fearless and composure and all the rest of it, how great was Deli Ali's finish? Like, so many players yeah. would yeah. have wellied that and missed it. Absolutely class. Took it on it was the quality. Knee. All of it was quality. Stroke Dembele's goal as well. I mean, he's the strongest man in the world. He is. You can't, you, it's like it's <coughs> stuck he to him be with blue. You can't get the ball off him once he's got it. Whose goal was you most perverted about out of the three? <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, probably I'm... Delhi. Actually, no. Probably Harry Kane. I wasn't. I wasn't. It wasn't Dembele. I'm not Mike Dean. Uh, it was probably <laughs> Harry Kane. Because the finish. I mean, that's the one I went wild about. Yeah. It was just sort of like the relief, and also 
what a finish. And what a pass from Lamella, who is still in my fantasy team. Two points for assist. Oh, oh, oh. what about you? Yeah. Oh, no, it's definitely Harry Kane. I just thought it was such a brilliant team move as well. And like, yeah, Lamella, we all know. Oh, here we I go. like a bit of Lamella. Yeah. Beautiful pass and such a brilliant finish from Harry. Like when everyone talks about has he got his confidence back and everyone goes, oh, that hat trick was all a bit scrappy against Bournemouth. That's the Harry Kane that we know and love. Exactly. Oh. Right there. Slamming it in, top corner last Boom. minute. For a postage <laughs> stamp, first Absolute class. Quality. Kane's back, then Bele's back. The whole squad are looking quality. This has been Spur vs Part 1. Give us a comment what you thought of the match. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Make sure you join us in Part 2 of Spur vs. Bonjour everyone, welcome to part two of Spurvers. And as you can see, I'm still joined by the multi-talented Emma Story and Reese. <laughs>